Businesses across the United States right now are betting on a rarer celestial event to boost their revenue. Scripps News' Chris Conti explains why a total solar eclipse is drawing large crowds. 13 U.S. states are in the path of totality for the 2024 eclipse. And if it's anything like what we saw in 2017, communities small and large are about to see a big economic boost. Sunshine in the mountains of Vermont can often be hard to come by. But while most days low-hanging clouds are a mere inconvenience, there is one day coming soon when around here they need the sun to truly shine. Have you experienced an eclipse? I have, but I don't think I've ever been in the path of totality. Jennifer Green is a lifelong Vermont resident who serves as the marketing manager for Stowe, Vermont. Stowe is home to 5,000 year-round residents. And come April 8th of next year, we'll be in the path of totality for the 2024 total solar eclipse. Could this be maybe the biggest tourism event that you guys it ever could, have? It could be. Like many other communities nationwide, the population of this town is expected to swell as people from all over the world flock here to experience the eclipse's totality. Blocked by the moon, the sun will go dark for 2 minutes and 48 seconds. Hotels and Airbnbs are already nearing capacity. We have a couple properties that might already be fully booked and some who are around half booked. So in any messaging that we're putting out and when talking to people, it's book early, book as soon as you can. That's sort of our, been our messaging since day one. The eclipse is expected to generate millions in tourism dollars nationwide. Here in Stowe, the sun's disappearance comes at a perfect time right at the end of ski season. Something like this eclipse is going to probably be a really nice little bump yeah. in money coming in. For us, it's definitely coming at a time of year where we don't always see huge numbers. I've got backup plans to my backup plans to, uh, to be able to get to where the sky is clear. That's Brian Drower, a professional nighttime photographer who admittedly is still riding the high of seeing the 2017 solar eclipse. These are just some of the images he captured back then. It's indescribable. It's, it's an event that will leave you speechless. Very few things in your life will do that. Drower says part of the draw for the eclipse is that so many Americans live in cities and towns with a lot of light pollution. So this eclipse serves as a monumental solar event that's accessible to anyone in its path. If you get into that zone of totality, that's where the, the, the magic happens. In 2017, more than 20 million people traveled to see the eclipse. For the 2024 total solar eclipse, an estimated 32 million people in the United States already live in the path of the eclipse. Cities like Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Buffalo will all experience totality. You really have to be careful about looking at this. Very careful, especially if you use any optics at all. If you use a camera, binoculars, or a telescope, that magnifies the amount of light that's going to go to your eye. And while the eclipse is nine months away, the time to prepare is actually right now. And this fits right on the front over the lens of your telescope or any device you're going to use. That's what Jack St. Louis from the Vermont Astronomical Society says. Easy to just Put them on your eyes. Get those solar safety glasses and camera filters before they're in short supply. What then makes the eclipse so special? Unless you travel to go find them, it's a once in a lifetime thing if you get the chance to see it. There is another layer to all of this. It's about space. So I'm very much interested in the, the physiology of space flight, you know. And Jay Bucky will be watching the eclipse from New Hampshire with a unique perspective. What what was it like being up there? Oh, it, well, it's, uh, it's a it's an amazing experience to look out the window and realize where you are. Jay is a retired astronaut who, in 1998, spent 16 days in space. So he has a certain appreciation for the moon, the sun, and the Earth, and hopes this eclipse is the catalyst that could draw in the next generation of space scientists. For kids in particular, just to have exposure to all these different things and, and to let their imagination run, and then they're going to be our, our future explorers. At the end of the day, the sun's grand disappearing act will simply come down to a lot of luck and whether the clouds will in fact cooperate so that we can all watch as the moon, at least for a moment, outshines the sun. Chris Conti, Scripps News, Stowe, Vermont.